Hey there and welcome to another reading. So before we start I just want to apologize for anyone that was looking forward to more readings but didn't get any because for the past two or three weeks I was basically struggling with a really bad heat wave and my house has no um, insulation, we have no AC or anything so not only was it hard to focus but the camera was burning up really fast and I couldn't focus on the messages I was receiving if I had to pause and wait for the camera to cool down every time. It was a huge distraction and everything, so I decided to take a break and allow things to cool down for a bit. So yeah, today's reading is going to be about what you can expect for the month of August. Not only what you can expect, but I also used what I thought were the healing cards but um, there are different type of cards, I forget the name now, but I used these cards here to to ask what it is you need to maybe heal during the month of August and just after I put them, lay them out I was reminded that these weren't the healing cards but I felt like this was done subconsciously on purpose, like there's a purpose to this so we're going to see what these cards tell you of what you need to heal during these months, during this month of August. So you're going to have to use your intuition today. Whichever pile caught your attention first, choose that one. Or maybe in case your eyes went to one of these objects around, choose whatever is closest, you know, whichever pile is closest to the object that your eyes went to first, whatever, however you want. You can also pause the video, take deep breaths with your eyes closed, ask yourself which pile is right for me or what can I expect during the month of August and when you open them, whichever pile your eyes went to first, that's the pile for you. Okay, the timestamps will be down below and I'll see you in your reading. Hello group one, so let us see what you can expect during the month of August. You got time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. You got vulnerability, open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. So it feels like with just these cards alone here, it sort of feels like in August, I don't know, maybe, maybe you've been carrying a heavy load or just like really tired of like life or whatever situation you've been in. So for you guys, August will be a time where it's calling you to sort of just take time out and be on your own with your own self, your own company. You know, maybe you'll find out things about yourself you didn't know. Maybe it's calling you to sort of find a place you can be at peace and, you know, don't have any distractions or disturbances. And maybe just journal, you know, get your thoughts out things you're thinking about, things you're feeling lately, things you're going through, and just see what comes out. Don't, like, don't think about phrasing the words the right way or making it make sense. Just, like, pour it out. All, all the words that are coming out, just let them come out. Okay? And because you have time out and it's talking about being sort of in your solitude, and with the vulnerability here, it feels like it's telling you to be more vulnerable with yourself. Um, maybe you've been holding back so many emotions that you've been bottling and not releasing. So maybe it's telling you also to put on a movie or a song or music in general that helps you release those emotions. If you need to cry, even if you don't have a reason to cry, right? Even if nothing bad happened, but you're feeling that you need a good cry, just do it. Just cry it out. Because also when you're crying, those tears, because they have salt in them, um, they are, they're cleansing and cleaning your eyes. I don't know if you ever noticed, but after a good cry, you feel like you can see better, like things are more clear around you. Because those tears are washing away all the dirt, all the debris that's sort of floating around in your, like, on your eye. Okay, so, so be more vulnerable with yourself. You don't have to always be strong, always be on guard, you know, and 
um, or in that survival mode okay especially when you're by yourself learn to relax to take it easy to release that tension you know be more vulnerable be childlike be be what you feel you can to be in front of other people okay be that with yourself because at least when you're by yourself when you're with your own company you're safe right it's the safest you'll be it's the safest you you should be able to feel when you're just you and don't have to worry about other people what they'll say or if they'll judge you or or if people are acting mean towards you you don't have to worry about any of that when you're when it's just you okay so learn to relax and be more vulnerable with yourself so the next card we have is cycles yes yeah, so it's reminding you that everything that you may be going through is just a cycle nothing is permanent nothing is set in stone it will it will always keep going okay you maybe if you're on the at your bottom or at your worst now remember that things move they come in full circle and you'll be on top again things will get better again okay it's just always moving always evolving and changing also with the cycles um, it feels like with how it's connected with this timeout card it sort of feels like you need to have your own cycles where sometimes you need to be by yourself on your own right just sort of escape the world for a little while even if it's just in your room or in a park or you know wherever you feel safe and that solitude so you'll you'll need cycles where you have that and then when you're with other people and when you're with company and you know things like that so you need a balance of both okay and August now what it's telling you is the time when you need that solitude and you need time by yourself so what it is you need to heal during this month it says masculinity the masculine so whether you are male and need to maybe heal what you believe masculinity is or what others are telling you masculinity is because they're good and bad in everything right everything is a balance act what side wins is the one that depends on the one you feed the most right so if you're being toxic you're feeding the toxicity so you need to relax it okay you need to heal it there's also toxic positivity right always being too happy and not not expressing true emotions when they hit right burying them deep inside that's toxic positivity because you're being false you're not being natural so there's good and bad in everything okay just because you are masculine or if you're female and you have masculine traits that doesn't mean you're evil that doesn't mean you're bad but there's something about masculinity that you need to heal whether it's something within you or your view on it it has to be healed people that think that generally masculinity is a toxic thing they perhaps had a bad experience with um, some type of male in their life whether it was a grandfather a father an uncle a cousin um, a friend a boyfriend whatever it is a brother maybe right so just because you had a bad experience with one male does not mean or equal that all men are like this okay so there's something about masculinity that you do need to heal and in August you need to work on that maybe that's why you need that time out and to be more more vulnerable with yourself because maybe you've been too harsh on some type of an idea or maybe too harsh on yourself because of other people's views okay
so you guys will be um, going on a sort of inner journey it feels okay if you spend some time alone if you start to release the emotions the thoughts and everything whether it's by journaling whether it's by crying or screaming into your pillow or screaming um, in a forest just to release everything that you're hiding inside or have bottled throughout the years and like yoga um, helps too I've never practiced yoga I've only ever did like one short like I followed one short video um, technically you're not supposed to do it alone because you can injure yourself but I tried to find something very simple easy to do and I ended up crying because the the type of stretching that I was doing was releasing bottled emotions deep inside so if you can maybe join a yoga class to release those emotions but it feels like you will be going on some possible inner journey um, because of the solitude that it takes place and things will come up um, nostalgia and old memories and things from your past your childhood things will come up okay but um, it's going to benefit you in the long run because in the long run yeah because being reflective like reflecting on who you are what you want and even going like following a line to know what the root cause is of something you've been facing maybe there are symptoms you've been having and you think you're maybe angry because of some recent situation but really it stems down deep further from maybe some childhood thing that happened and these things that are triggering your anger or your depression or your sadness those are just symptoms those are the last straw that you can't take anymore right but you need to follow the root cause once you find that root cause, it's going to benefit you because now you know what the true problem is. And because you know what the true problem is, you'll be able to understand it and you'll, you'll know better at how to heal it. Or even if you don't know fully how to heal it, at least just knowing what the true problem is, it'll be easier to sort of know what your next steps are rather than thinking that all these multiple things that triggered you and trigger your different emotions that you need to heal 50 different things like no it all stems down from one thing okay and the tides will shift for you knowing what this is it's going to be a blessing because it's possible that you do like that you will know what your next steps could be and maybe there are multiple different solutions but at least you'll know what they are because you'll know what the root problem is right for example um, there have been cases where people that are overweight and constantly eating and um, can't go on any diet because they can't stick to it there have been cases where they have been abused in some way as children and eating has been their way of coping so everyone might think seeing them right everyone might think oh they're just lazy or they they're so obsessed with food right and everyone is maybe telling them you need to go on a diet right that's the only issue you have right just eating so just go on a diet and you'll be able to eat whatever you want as long as you are active and maintain a healthy weight right but they lack the knowledge of something happened to them when they were children and food is just a symptom okay so it's possible that whatever issue you may have is rooted with something deep down that you think you're over or that you think you solved or maybe that you just buried and are in denial and don't even want to face okay but I'm telling you facing your demons no matter how awkward shameful or um, even maybe guilty if you're the one that did something no matter how it feels you will have to face those demons and talk to someone do it in a healthy way don't force it fully okay take it day by day and 
face it little by little as much as you can as soon as you get to that uncomfortable state reel back and do a little more tomorrow okay do it day by day but at least you're trying to face it you're trying to own up to it or trying to heal it whatever it is okay but it's going to be a turning and tipping point in your life because as soon as you as soon as you acknowledge the root cause you can then know the different solutions you have you can then choose what solutions you want to take and you know go through and it's going to create a shift in your life it's going to create blessings for you where better opportunities will come your way because now you're on a healing journey now you are wanting to face those demons in order to get past them and get to that better destination because there is something better waiting for you down that road of healing okay the other side of those demons is your true potential is the dream life you want but you need to face it okay so August is a time for solitude if you're going to the beach if you're going on vacation or you live somewhere near the beach or a beautiful forest or wherever take time there take time to release to heal to breathe breathe in the fresh scent of the trees in the forest or that salty sea air whatever you have near you okay so group one August is definitely calling out to you for a time of healing and remember here that with Helios is if that's how you pronounce it he's telling you that everything is a cycle even with the wheel of fortune it's telling you everything is a cycle okay there's a time for everything and everything always changes you will not be stuck forever you will not be sad forever you will not be angry forever okay but as long as you take the steps you need in order to heal to get to a better place in your mind in your soul it'll be worth it in the end because it's going to shift things it's going to shake things up and you won't be in that stagnant same mundane life forever okay you have to be that change in your own life okay so group one that's all I have for you. I hope this resonated and helped you out. Um, I wish you an amazing August. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to be updated with more readings. Comment and tell me which group you chose, if it resonated, how you feel about this, what are your plans for August. And like the video if you enjoyed it, okay? And also don't forget you can check out my Kofi. You can ha get a personal reading there. You can also become a member, you can leave a tip if you want. Um, yeah, I would like to get an actual table so that I, because every single time I do these readings I have to actually like remove everything, put things back, because I'm actually on my bed with, with just like um, a backdrop. This isn't an actual table. So I would actually like to get a real table where I can just decorate and leave like all month or at least every two weeks I can like sort of redecorate and stuff and maybe even have different themes and stuff so you know just support me in whatever way you can whether it's just by sharing or telling other people or whatever okay so I'll see you guys next Hello, group time two, and welcome to your reading so let's see what August holds for you you got telepathy, nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. You got guidance. Okay, so it seems like in August you guys will be maybe getting, as they call them, downloads or certain knowledge that just comes to you. It could be your intuition. Maybe you guys haven't felt it before or aren't aware of how it works. But basically your intuition is a knowing, okay? It comes fast. It's not something you have to think about or remind yourself. It just comes really fast. So it's possible that in August you guys might be getting some sudden like information about something, an answer on something, just some like random 
thing in your mind that you wouldn't have known or you wouldn't personally have thought about, but it just comes to you. Okay, so these are these are like messages or guidance that comes from your higher self or energetic beings, those of higher frequency. But the messages I'm, I'm talking about is more like like the sudden urge to to be at some certain location all of a sudden, right? It, it feels like it's calling out to you like energetically, like it's something's pulling you towards some certain place. Go there, okay? If you suddenly get this feeling like you need to call a friend or a family member or whatever, call them. Even if you have no idea why, just call them to see, you know, what's up. And maybe they will tell you a message that you need to hear, okay? But it seems like some guidance is coming to you in August, which you, I mean, you don't have to expect it, you know, but just be ready for it in case it comes. Um, it could come from an actual person, it, like I said, it could come intuitively, okay, but guidance is on its way. So, um, what you guys need to heal during this month, it says games. So this could mean different things. If you're the type of person that manipulates or likes to play games, you need to heal yourself from that because that's not what grown adults do. You don't want to play games with other people, whether it's with their heart or their mind, whatever it is, because that is a toxic trait. And not only are you wasting people's time, but first of all, your reputation will go down the drain. Secondly, no one will take you seriously anymore. They're going to think you're a loser and a piece of shit for doing that. Thirdly, your life will be miserable and you won't get what you want because as they say karma's a bitch and everything you give out comes back to you three to tenfold okay so you need to stop playing games if you want something from someone tell them okay don't just expect that they're mind readers and that they'll know and then get mad because they didn't get it okay you just, if you want something, if you, um, if you want someone to know your love language, if you want someone to know what it is you need, voice it, tell them, or else they won't know. Okay, even if you're married to someone, even if you're with someone, don't expect them to know that you love them. Sometimes they do need a reminder. Maybe you haven't said it in a while. Maybe they think that things are mundane and you don't feel you know, in love with them anymore. You'll have to remind them. And ladies, don't just think that men are the ones that need to compliment you. Men are barely ever complimented. Just look at videos where women catcall men and you'll see that they actually are smiling and loving it because they never get compliments. They're never told that they're hot or that um, they're handsome or whatever. Okay, so compliment your guy you know compliment your friend tell them you know you did a good job on that thing or you look really great today or you know that color suits you it matches your eyes or whatever it is okay the other side of this games is um some of you may need to stop taking yourself too seriously and be more childlike not childish but childlike meaning look at the world through eyes um, of a child see the wonder you walk by certain places every single day and you totally um, ignore the beauty around you maybe there's a beautiful flower bed maybe there's a beautiful moss on a tree that when the light hits it the right away it just looks magical like there are fairies around um, maybe the creatures that are scurrying about or flying around you know it's like you're out and about every single day but you never look at life anymore like you used to and even if you had a shitty childhood I'm pretty sure there's some aspects of it that were great 
even if it was just a moment. Okay, so you guys need to heal that side. Now let's see what else. Okay, so you guys, you guys need to have a closer look at something. It's like, even here with the moon card, right? Because you have the telepathy card, the moon is about intuition. Okay, and this mermaid, this mermaid is using her voice and she's singing. Okay, like I said, you need to use your voice. You need to tell people what it is you need, okay? Because they won't know on their own. They have their own life, they have their own thoughts and, you know, things are happening around them as well. They, they can't know what it is you need at that time. Maybe they think you're fine because, you know, you seem fine and everything, but maybe deep down you're feeling differently. So you need to make them aware of what's happening inside. Okay, so usually I feel like, at least in this deck with the Two of Swords, it feels like some sort of battle, right? Sometimes it can be a battle with someone else, and sometimes it can be a battle within yourself. But with the telepathy here, you have two mermaids that look similar, and I feel they can be the same person, but it's like your duality. It's like the best way your intuition can work is when you're one with yourself, when you're not battling yourself, when you're not um, being toxic to yourself, whether that's how you talk to yourself, what you think about yourself, right? When you healed who you are, when you healed your past or a situation, and when you're fully content with yourself, when you love yourself, in that calmness, that's when you can be more intuitive, that's when you know the sixth sense is more active. Opportunities will be presented to you, but if you're coming from a place of hurt, you won't be able to see those opportunities. Okay, and hurt doesn't just mean physically hurt or you know someone hurt you, but hurt as in like anger, depression, um, a negative um, a negative outlook on life or on people or on job or whatever it is, if you're coming from that sort of place, you're going to miss the opportunities that are around you during this coming month, okay? And there are a lot of opportunities that will be presented to you. The best place you can be is around people that are like-minded people that get you, people that you know um, have your back, people that you feel safe with. And if you don't have those type of people, it's possible that in August you get them or you meet someone that you feel you can truly be your authentic self with, that you don't have to put on a mask, that you don't have to um, play pretend with or, or walk on eggshells with, you know. That you can truly feel safe around and your best self, okay, and maybe those people are the guidance that is coming to you, right, maybe you meet someone that ends up guiding you in some way, in some aspect of your life, and they end up staying and truly being a friend. So, August can be a fun month, it can be a reflective month as well, but just remember not to dwell in long-term negativity in any emotional aspect because you might miss what's in front of you or what's surrounding you. 
because while you're focusing on the lack and what you don't have and what you wish you had those very things or the opportunities that can bring those things in your life will be around you and you'll be blinded by your own toxicity that you won't be able to see it okay so always have hope remember to see the world through a childhood eyes full of wonder full of opportunity full of hope as there as if there is no limit so group two that's all I have for you guys remember to um, like the video if you enjoyed it you can subscribe if you want to be updated you can also leave a comment I'd love to know which group you chose how it resonated what your plans are for August and on my Kofi page you can get a personal reading which will be you know catered more to you specifically and you'll be able to get more detailed um, messages about whatever you it is you want whether it's you know like what's coming to you for August or whether it's about a situation or even if you just want a general reading about like what it is you need to know at this time what you need to focus on or let go of whatever it is I'd love to help you out so that you can have a more clear path going and moving forward so that you know you don't feel stuck or limited in some way and you can also leave a tip there or join my membership so see you guys next time and I wish you guys luck and a really fun reflective and exciting August so see you guys Hello, next group time. three and welcome to your reading so let's see what you can expect during the month of August you got Wonder Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, Journey of the Soul. And you got Skill. Okay, so with the Journey of the Soul here and the Skill, it kind of feels uh, that in August, you guys will, either some of you are going to some type of maybe summer school, or maybe you're taking some type of course, maybe you're even teaching yourself through YouTube videos, but there is some sort of skill, something that you're improving upon um, during the month of August. And because this is a journey of the soul, it could also mean maybe um, being skilled at helping yourself. Maybe you are, maybe this isn't a type of skill that you do for work or for school, but this is a type of skill that you're working on uh, yourself. It could be exploring also um, options that you have, um, being skillful in in knowing the red flags for something, or in getting better at decision making, or setting a schedule for yourself, you know, something like that. What you need to heal or work on for the month of August is creation. So if you guys are artists, this could make sense that during August, which is like the best time, you know, because not only are you maybe going out and, you know, having that summer vibe type of um, atmosphere and um, experience, but it's also a good time to use maybe the evenings, like sunsets, or if you're an early bird, maybe like... Um, that cooling morning when the sun rises type of uh, time where you can start practicing your art skills right building upon it don't just accept where you are and that's it I've seen people that are professional that you know have people buying their stuff but I mean it's a personal thing right art is personal we can't compare ourselves to others because every type of art style is different. It's not ours, right? Someone that um, draws anime can't compare themselves to Da Vinci because that's a totally different art style, right? But I feel like these people, even though they're professionals and stuff, their type of art, I feel, is still lacking and they can easily, like, improve upon it but they choose to just remain in that level that they're at, which is such a shame to me. Because art is all about 
you know, getting better, learning more, what, what else you can do, how can you... And it's not about comparing yourselves to others, but it's about competing with yourself. You know, trying to get better at it, having a specific art style that you want to reach, and trying to get there. And even when you come there, improving even on that so you get better at it, like that you're not only um, professional in that specific art style, but that you have like your own unique style that builds on top of what you already are, you know, fully professionally skilled at, right? So always compete with yourself. So it feels like August is calling you to get more creative, to to improve upon the skills you already have. And if you were artistic and haven't really touched art but you loved it, maybe it's telling you to go back and start learning more. For some, um, because creation can also mean babies, right? And if that's your path and this is what you're working on, it, August could be a good time to conceive for you. Or if you already are pregnant, maybe you are giving birth in August. So let's see what else you get. Okay, so you guys, you guys have a journey ahead of you, okay? Underneath the deck here, you got the Ten of Swords, so it is possible that some type of struggle is coming to an end. Now, um, it's possible that... It's possible that you guys do get some help regarding these skills, maybe... Um, if you are art artistic and creative, maybe it's a group of artists that you join or um, an online group that you are a part of or might come across that you end up uh, collaborating with. Maybe that will help you improve on those skills. Also, um, if it is about children and creating babies, the best way to conceive is when both parties are fully relaxed, when you're not stressing about it, okay? But August is a month that is going to be, like the Queen of Wands here shows, full of fire and energy, okay? It is, it is goddess energy, okay? It is in full full intense creation okay it's not just a spark of uh, of an idea this is full on creative mode okay so it's like when you're in that zone when you're so focused when you're creating you know what you feel is your masterpiece that's the type of energy August brings but along with this new creation, creative energy, there may be some loss as well. In order to get better at something, in order to improve your life, in order to have a better life, there are some things you will need to sacrifice, right? So sometimes it could be that you are a sentimental person and you feel sad because you need to leave your parents or your home behind even though something's better waiting for you, right? New opportunities and a better life is waiting for you, but you're so sentimental that you have to leave it behind. Sometimes it's maybe leaving a job you had because you see that your creative endeavors are picking up and that you can make a living off of that, but you are 
you're going to miss your co-workers because you really loved working with them and you had a great time and experience with them, right? So there is, in order to have this bigger opportunity, there is some sacrifice that will happen. But you will come out of it strong if you accept it and choose what's better for you in the long run, okay? You will need to be graceful about it, okay? The strength card here shows a mermaid basically trying to help a whale out of these nets. And this is a giant, right? A giant creature. But it's so graceful, right? So it involves strength and basically dignity, right? Being graceful not uh, making a scene, not uh, resisting, right, but being graceful about it. Because this shift will get you in a place where, where basically this long-term wish might come true of yours. Maybe the way you envisioned your life, maybe an outcome you wanted, maybe a goal, like a big goal you set for yourself, whatever this is this sacrifice will be worth it as long as you don't resist but adapt and I'm, I mean you can grieve it, you can not be sad about it it's normal, right? like you're going to miss some things about your life, how it used to be a schedule, the people, whatever it is it's okay to be sad about it and to grieve it for a moment but don't resist it, don't don't work against it just go with it, because in the end, some wish of yours is going to come true. Okay, it's going to take you to newer heights, it's going to take you to new experiences, things that you wouldn't have experienced if you were where you are now. Okay, so this change is going to propel you into something greater. And Nine of Cups, right, it's a wish card, wish fulfillment, and it's going to remove the struggles that you were facing. It's the end of that struggle period because now you have evolved into something else, something better. So trust in yourself, trust in the universe. Life isn't always going to be within your comfort zone, always the same, even if you love it. Sometimes life in the universe will shake things up for you because you're not meant to stay where you always are. You're not meant to be in that same spot your entire life. You're meant to be something more. You have higher potential. Okay? So whatever comes, even if for a moment it feels scary, stay calm. Reflect on it. Why is it scary? Is it because it's unpredictable? Is it because it's unknown to you? So it's not something that's hurting you, it's not something that's a threat to you, it's just because it's something new, right? So always reflect, whenever you feel that resistance, always reflect, why are you resisting? What is causing you to fear it, okay? Question yourself, reflect on it, and once you get the answer, you'll see that you're just, you're just a little uncomfortable because it's something new, okay? But always have, at the back of your mind, always have that thought, hey, if this doesn't work out, I'll, I can always come home. Or I can always depend on this friend. They have my back, right? So reassure yourself, you'll be okay. Choose something that you ground yourself by so that you know that if this thing fails, I can always go back to this. You know, so... That is all I have for you, group three, and like the video if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe if you want to be updated for more videos. Another heat wave is coming after this weekend, so I mean, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do more videos, but August is the heart of the summer, so July and August are the worst when it comes to um, Eastern Europe, especially like where I am, we tend to get, like our normal temperatures have been throughout the years, 
maybe 33 degrees Celsius but we have now risen to they say 40 but the thing is they measure temperature in the shade so I would like to say that our temperatures in the heat wave are maybe 45 degrees Celsius even though to me sometimes it feels like 50 so it's very hard to stay cool and even before this reading after group 2 I had to shut the camera off because it was already heating up so I can't promise um, readings in August I will try my best whenever it's cool enough maybe I'll even do it during the night time but yeah just subscribe so that you're updated whenever I do another reading comment below tell me which group you chose how it resonated and what your plans are for this summer for August and how like what it is that you guys are trying to improve your skills on um, I would love to know what it is being an artist myself I love to know what people are working on and don't forget that I also do personal readings you can check out my Kofi page down below in the description box where all the links are um, you can get a personal reading that is catered specifically to you so you'll get even more details and things um, you can also leave a tip I would love to get an actual table because right now I'm doing this on my bed on a chalkboard with a backdrop on it so I would love to get an actual table that I can decorate and not have to constantly you know decorate before the video and then put everything back I would love to have like a space where I can just decorate and have you know that layout for an entire month or maybe two weeks so if you like to help leave a tip or become a member members get uh, one free personal reading every single month as well as discounts for like more readings that they want um, and if you don't have the means to become a member or to um, leave a tip you can always share my art uh, comment on my um, posts whether it's on social media or here on YouTube because all those things help with the algorithm and, and it helps reach more people so all of that helps out okay so I wish you guys an awesome August I hope it's exciting please work on your art skills because you do have the potential here and also with the soul journey art is connected with the heart and the soul right so by practicing art you're also going through a journey of the soul okay so I wish you guys luck and I'll see you guys next time